Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful paper doily watercolor butterflies. That's a mouthful. It's so much fun. It's affordable, of course, because we're using supplies from our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. We're going to use white six inch doilies. We're going to use this really pretty star garland. You should have it around all year round. There's so many things to do with it. We're going to use some raffia ribbon, some glitter. We're going to use some square rhinestones and you can't find square rhinestones everywhere and they're 91 cents a bag so seriously you gotta get some of these. Um, we're also going to use our spray inks that I showed you how to make a couple years ago. I'll put a link to that under the video if you want to go uh, check out that tutorial in case you missed it. Um, we'll need a pair of wire cutters and googly eyes if you like googly eyes. Um, you can go either way with them. Um, so here is the one that I made and it's so much fun and I just love the elegance that a doily gives. I've made these before with coffee filters and they're cute too but there's nothing like that die cut edge of a doily to make it so special. All right so the first thing you need to do is clear a space on your table that can get a little inky. You might want to put down a piece of freezer paper or maybe open up a plastic shopping bag or something keep the mess down. Um, I have a Teflon mat here which works great and for each butterfly you're gonna need two doilies. Just check, make sure you have them pulled apart because there's like a thousand in that box. You want to make sure you only have one. And then you want to choose your inks. Um, I'm going to use pink, blue, and purple. So I'm doing pink down the middle, purple on one side, and blue on the other. Then I'm going to flip them, keeping the same ink on the same side. Go again with my purple on that side, my pink, and my blue. All right, and then you're going to want some of this pretty raffia ribbon for an embellishment and this is very affordable too. It's a couple dollars a roll and you get so much on it and you can buy it already colored. I've got some different colors here but I think it's really pretty to color it yourself because then you get exactly the color you like and it has more of that handmade look to it. So what you can do is um, try to catch some of that color that you've already sprayed so it doesn't go to waste. Sometimes it works really well, sometimes it's a little model, it's completely up to you. I try to get what I can and then I wrap it around the barrel of a marker. So when you wrap it around try to catch the end under your first wrap and then just wrap it around. It doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be lined up, just get it wrapped around there. And then if you say, hmm, I wish that was a little more blue or a little more pink or I got some white spots and I don't like that, you just give another blast with your um, with your spray inks. And these bottles are from Paper Mart. They come in um, in a bulk affordable packs. Um, the sprayers and the bottles are separate so make sure you get the right size bottle for your sprayer. But um, I know you're thinking, I don't need that many sprayers, Lindsay. But guess what? They are so handy. I've used all of mine because you know you can use them upstairs making your own homemade organic cleaning products. Use them down here in the craft room. It's just so, so wonderful. All right, so now we need to shape our doily. And what I like to do is just, you want to be very gentle because the die cut around the edge will have a tendency to rip if you're not careful. Just very gently kind of gather it up in the middle so it kind of makes like a bow tie shape. And do that for each side. All right, there. That's pretty, isn't it? It already looks like a butterfly, doesn't it? All right, now I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to wipe up my mess. I like to use um, either paper towels or, you know what, my it's summertime. <laughs> I actually cut the uh, cut the long sleeve sleeve parts off of a couple of my daughter's shirts because I don't know what I was thinking. They never wear long sleeve shirts, so why did I buy them? I turned them into t-shirts, so yay me. Now I have some new <laughs> new craft room rags. Oh boy. All right, so now we're going to make the body of the butterfly, and um, I love this pick mark glitter. It's 99 cents a tube, and you get so much in there, and look how fine it is. It's like the stuff you pay six dollars for half as much at the craft store. It's such a bargain. All right, so take your your um, clipper here and here's a little trick I'm going to share with you. Clip it to like when you know those fake credit cards or gift cards and stuff you get in the mail. Those are perfect for this technique and um, I'll tell you why in a second. You clip it on here. All right now you've got something to hold this while you put glue and glitter on. I like to use Mod Podge. I find that it um, it really holds well, it dries quickly, and um, I feel like I get a lot more value because I can use it for so many different products, uh, projects. So you can use white glue if you don't have Mod Podge. That's absolutely fine. It's going to work just fine. But if you know if you're looking for a supply that does more than just glue, 
um, I really recommend it. I went a long time before I ever used it, and uh, it's kind of like no no turning back. After I started using it, I started I bought it by the gallon, and I use it for everything. All right, give it a good coat. You can even do the insides there if you want to. And then here's another little tip. Um, have little save little, any little containers you have. They're really great for catching glitter. And then um, you can even store your glitter in there and use a little spoon to scoop it up if you want to. But I'm just going to give it a shake. I'll pour it back into my container when I'm done, probably. Let's cover all the sides really well. And the nice thing about this credit card, I'm going to show you my little tip for drying. All right. So now I got this really well covered. It's really sparkly. The Mod Podge is going to hold it. So what I do is I'll like stick it in a can or a masking tape roll or something so it can stand up right to dry. So that's another little tip for you. All right, I'll put that stuff back in the container off camera later. I'm going to wipe up my mess for now, and we're going to continue on. All right, so after your ribbon is dry, it's going to look like this. It's going to be a nice light curly cue because you let it dry around the marker barrel. So, yeah, you'd want to do that ahead of time. Or you could ha uh, heat it with a hair dryer if you want to uh, speed that up a little bit. And grab your little wings here. Actually, I'm going to take the drier ones I did a little while ago because... That way I can uh, I can glue some rhinestones onto it. You want to grab your clothespin, a dry one, not the one you just colored, and you want to fold your ribbon in half and clip it. All right, so this is going to be that the the this the clippy part, the part that opens and closes. That's going to be the the head, and the longer part's going to be the body. So what you want to do is clip it on just like this. Just be careful not to tear your filters. You might want to let them dry up a little bit more. Um, you can actually let them go all the way dry before you start putting it together. You do want to form them while they're still wet. Otherwise, they'll be, they might, you know, they'll be a little harder to work with. And now we need the antenna. So we're going to use this beautiful garland. It comes in many different colors, but I just really thought this blue is pretty and I could use it for um, Fourth of July. I could use it for New Year's. I could use it for obviously spring butterflies. So, but you know, there are other colors if you prefer other colors. Just fold that little piece you cut off in half and you can also sneak that right in there. You don't even need any glue. There we go. Well, I say you don't need any glue until I actually put it in there. There we go. We got our antennas in there. And um, now if you want you can put some googly eyes on your little butterfly face. And again I like to use the Mod Podge except this time I'm going to use a um, needle tool. And you can also use a toothpick if you don't have a needle tool. I always have this at my desk so that's, the, that's what was handy for me. And maybe I'll go with some tinier little eyeballs than I did on the other one. This time, you can mismatch them and then they look kind of cute. I think I'll do mismatch because I think that's kind of cute. And uh, I put a little bit on the back. Use tweezers if you find this a little unwieldy. And plop it right on there and it will stick. When it's dry, it'll be good. That's the thing, you gotta be patient, let it dry. Plop the other one on right there and just leave them be. And then if you want to add a little bit of sparkle, I recommend these rhinestones. And these rhinestones are 91 cents a bag. I've got three bags in here. I bought, um, I got the assorted and look how many. That's, so that's three bags, three bags full. <laughs> ba ba black sheep. But I got you any rhinestones. That was silly, silly today, but I've got three bags in there. And, um, I will use tweezers for this because I can't seem to grasp these little guys and, um, get them on my butterfly. So I just sprinkle a couple out and then pick them up with my tweezers. And with my padded Teflon mat, it's really easy to pick them up. A little glue on the back and put them on the wings. And if you don't care for rhinestones, you don't have to use them. It's completely up to you. So why don't you go ahead and put a few more rhinestones on your wings. Maybe one more rhinestone on there. Now, if you're doing this project with children, which I hope you do, the rhinestones might be a little advanced for them to be able to handle, so you might want to omit that step, or maybe just put on a few squirts of glue and let them sprinkle some sequins on, because rhinestones and tweezers can be a bit much for little kids to handle. Let's take a look at our finished butterflies. They're so adorable, and they look so pretty. Hung up on a window, or just from the ceiling. It's so, so pretty. What do you think? You ready to make these? I think so. I think they're adorable. I want to thank our sponsor, Paper Mart, for supplying us with all these beautiful products that we use today. You can find them online at www.papermart.com, where we make you look even better. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.